everybody this is Sherry with CPR craft pray repeat and I just wanted to share with you a quick basket that I made I'm taking this to my pain doctor tomorrow and ignore the <laughs> marks on my fingers I made sugar cookies today with my little god granddaughter she's only two years old I've ended up with sugar cookie icing and sprinkles in places I've never had it I don't know how it happened. She got a little excited with the sprinkles, so I found them down my shirt, and somehow I managed to, they gave me, when I ordered the um, ice or the food coloring from the store, they sent me neon colors. So I ended up with orange, pink, purple, lime green, and white icing. So I've got some orange food coloring still on my fingers. So ignore that when you look at my basket. <laughs> and this is just a basket I bought a couple years ago, I bought several of them on clearance after Christmas from Hobby Lobby. And this is the one that has the green handles. I have one that has red. And it just looks like a little, um, I can't really tip it because I didn't, um, didn't cover the bag. But it looks like a grocery cart. One of the little metal grocery baskets that you would get when you go in the store. And I just pulled the handles up here in the top, and I'm going to have to be real careful transporting it because the bags that I had were just too gigantic to heat seal this so that they didn't spill everywhere. So I'll just have to be careful. But I brought the handles up, made myself a triple loop bow, and used a, um, a, a piece of, um, oh my golly, I can't even think straight. It's a recollection sticker, and Lisa gave it to me, who is Charlisa's Crafty Corner. And it's these little hard plastic Christmas trees. I hot glued one in the center of the bow. Then I ended up using white shred, which I had, but there wasn't quite enough Hershey Kisses to fill the basket. There's 88 in here. And... I was really bummed. I fluffed the stuff. It still wasn't bringing the, the Hershey Kisses up high enough. So I had Hershey Nuggets. So I took um, dark chocolate Hershey Nuggets and stuck them in the bottom over top of the fill. And then put the milk chocolate Hershey Kisses on top. So now it's perfect. If, as long as it doesn't settle overnight, it will look just fine tomorrow when I give it to my doctor and the staff. I really appreciate what they do for me. And I used um, some of my files from Knitwit Collections. I used several different ones. They're ones that I've used in the past videos where I use my digital files. I sized them to three quarters of an inch and cut them down. Used a three quarter inch hole punch. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Come on. There we go. And I just used a three-quarter inch hole punch and punched them out and then used a glue dot to put them on the bottom of each of the Hershey Kisses. That's how I know exactly how many's in here. Because I got 11 rows of eight and so that made 88 Hershey Kisses in the basket. Including the dark, you're not including the dark chocolate. And there's some little Santa faces, some nutcrackers. I found I liked the ones that had the red more than any of the other ones that I tried. This one says naughty and nice. Um, let me try to zoom you in here a little tighter. And you'll be able to maybe see them um a little more let's move this over and see if we can get some here there you go and there's santa's face here's a different santa on this side i've got mrs claus another now this one i've got the blue santa i've got naughty and nice right here i've got a little christmas fox i've got a 25 for December 25th right there and it just looked really cute I was really happy with how they turned out and um, thought the basket was absolutely adorable and so hopefully that will all still look nice and full tomorrow when I take it to my doctors but I just you know when you're in chronic pain 
and you can find a pain doctor that helps you. You want to let them know how much you appreciate what they do. If you hear a noise in the background, it's my husband snoring. So, <laughs> I'm going to get off here before it gets louder and everybody hears it. But that's my basket to take to them. I've got another video that I'm going to be doing uh, showing some Christmas bows. So, be on the lookout for that. I apologize for not having one up this past Wednesday, which is my normal day to put up my videos. But I had to go in um, for a CAT scan and it just kind of messed up my whole schedule. But this is my basket for my pain doctor. I hope you guys like it. And it takes a three quarter inch circle punch. If anybody else wants to um, punch out, you could even use just plain old um, uh, your papers. Your, you know, designer paper. You could use those and punch out and get really pretty. You don't have to use digital collections like I did. So that would just really just, it just jazzes them up and takes them up a notch and makes them look a little special. All right, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Please remember to ignore my inky stained fingers. Remember to practice your CPR craft pray repeat. Thanks for visiting me today and happy crafting. Love you all. Bye.